Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Future Game Show Summer Showcase. My name is Britt Barron, and I play Tifa Lockhart in the Final Fantasy VII Remake series. But for the next 90 minutes, the gloves are off. Instead of wailing on Shinra troops, I'm here to deliver some video game news. Joining me on this quest through the trailer dungeon is the one and only Roger Clark. Howdy, Roger. Howdy, Brad. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. I'm Roger Clark, though you may know me best as the lovable rogue Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption 2. We've got a hell of a show for you today. Packed to the brim with world premieres, developer presentations, and everything in between. So hitch up your horses and settle in. As we mosey on through this action-packed show, keep in mind that you can find and wishlist any of the games featured today on our dedicated Summer Showcase Steam page. To find it, just search Future Games Show on Steam. Well, I think we've already hit our cowboy quip quota, so let's dive right in to our first world premiere. <sighs> Serve your God with unyielding devotion. Uphold the tenets of our order, forged in the crucible of faith. Walk the path of righteousness, guided by the light of divine purpose. Let not doubt cloud your spirit, nor darkness dim your resolve. Remain steadfast, for the journey is long and fraught with peril. For in the crucible of doubt, we find strength to persevere. Let faith be your shield, and righteousness your sword. Do not be afraid. For he is by your side, lighting your path through the darkness. That was your first look at Bogdan's Cross, a grisly action-adventure game coming to Steam and the Epic Game Store. Be sure to add it to your wish lists. Next, we've got a gameplay trailer for First Dwarf, a third person action RPG where you build and defend bases on a crumbling fantasy planet. Every day in Driftlands feels like your first. Perhaps because each nightfall feels like it might be your last. <laughs> One thing remains constant. Nothing beats the thrill of excitement a new sunrise brings. It's these moments that give you the power to venture out and explore the uncharted. Yet, 
true purpose is found in having a place you can call home. A place to nurture and care for. Even when you believe your task is complete, there's always another island to chase. Another place that'll make it all feel like it's the first time. I am a first dwarf. I suppose that's something that comes with the job title, right? First Dwarf is launching in early access on the 20th of June. But if you can't wait till then, the developers just dropped a demo on Steam, so you can jump in right after the show. Now it's time to dive into the rain slick world of Nobody Wants to Die, a cyberpunk detective thriller powered by Unreal Engine 5. Hi, my name is Mihao from Critical Hit Games, and I'm the studio's community manager. And we are located in the beautiful medieval city of Wrocław in Poland. Right now, we are working on Nobody Wants to Die. It's a single-player interactive noir story set in a dystopian New York City. It's inspired by neo-noir films, black and white detective movies, art deco stylings, but set hundreds of years into the future. You will discover the world of New York in the year 2329, where immortality comes at a price that someone has to pay. Choosing the perfect music and composer for this game was so important. It allows players to feel truly immersed in this world we have built. We're honored to be able to work with Mikolai Stroinski to create an incredible soundtrack for Nobody Wants to Die. Our small team of 20 has been working hard on this game for the last four years, and our aim from the start was to deliver a great narrative and a graphical experience for players in our dystopian world. The music helps us to shape the emotion we want players to feel in each moment, setting the rhythm and atmosphere for New York 2329. Its melodic and moody theme beautifully encapsulates the noir essence of the game, setting the stage for an immersive experience like Nawara. We're so pleased that 2 million of you watched our reveal trailer that we released a few months ago, and today we're excited for you to get a glimpse into some of Nobody Wants to Die's core settings, including Detective James Carr's apartment. What you're looking at here are exclusive in-game shots captured from our PC build. This is our vision of the future. You will experience the story of Nobody Wants to Die from a first-person perspective, through the eyes of Detective James Carr. Through our narrative, we wanted to explore the dangers of transhumanism and immortality. In a society where death is a distant memory, the lines of right and wrong start to get a bit blurry. We're planning to release Nobody Wants to Die later this year on Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 5, and PC on Steam. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the show. Nobody Wants to Die is coming later this year. What's next, Brit? Brit? Brit! Interesting. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna head backstage and see, uh, what's going on here. Welcome to the world of Detective Dotson, Roger. It's an adventure game set in India where you use disguise and parkour to track down your father's killer. Sounds great. Um, one, one question, how do we get back to our human bodies? I'm not sure, but watching this new trailer can't hurt, right?
Detective Dotson is coming to PC in 2024. And the developers just launched a demo for the game on Steam, so you can dive in after the show. While you're there, why not add it to your wish lists? During this year's Spring Showcase, our host cracked open the Ones to Watch yearbook, spotlighting three of the most hotly anticipated games coming in 2024. In keeping with that tradition, we've got another trio of games to share that should definitely be on your wish lists. First on our list is Once Human. Let's throw it over to the developers so they can tell you more about this new weird survival shooter. Hello Metas, welcome to the mysterious world of Once Human. I'm Derek, the head of operation of Once Human. Yesterday we revealed that Once Human will launch on PC on the 9th of July 2024. I'm very honored to introduce Waskillman to both new and old friends today and bring you more exclusive views. Waskillman is a post-apocalyptic overworld survival game where it will take on the role as a meta, striving to survive in a world corrupted by status and exploring the enigmatic now part continent. You must defend off outraged creatures alongside other metas, reclaim the old world, and uncover the truth behind the apocalypse. Many have labeled us as the most anticipated survival game of 2024, and I will tell you what makes West Human so you. Your adventure will unfold in a seamless overworld. Your adventure through trenches mountains, sandy beaches, foggy swamps, wild plains, rushing waterfalls, dark heavens, and mysterious underwater and the frigid tundras. Your exploration will stretch the boundaries of your imagination. The diverse flora and the fauna in the overworld add more possibilities to your journey. Let's see what survival skills you've got. Hunting, fishing, and planting are all part of the experience. The influence of status has led to widespread mutations across the continent. Stay cautious of the mutated demons and the fanatical cultists, murky and strong, as well as the areas shrouded in deep fog and the riddle spots scattered across the land. As you may know, uh, what makes us different is our master design. In one's human, the enemies that you ever encountered uh, might be something that you've never seen before. Animal, a new species born from the influence of status, will pose one of your greatest threats. The Wanderer, a walking buff that rocks the world with its searchlight, and the Vora, a monstrosity that resembles of excavator. I just appeal to watch how in the future, you will encounter even more cryptic creatures in the skies above and the oceans below. Don't forget about the rift entities. Some of them are packing giant gatling guns, some look like massive trees, and others might even haunt your dreams. Back for luck, Metas. Did I mention that West Human might be one of the most diverse overall survival game out there? You must eliminate spreads in strongholds and dungeons for materials to pop to your custom equipment. Plus, you can capture divisions from all over the world and use their special abilities to help you out. Rex is your chef. Nutcracker handles security, and the Kana Skull is a bodyguard. You can build your settlement anywhere in the overworld, or even create a mobile hall. With over 4,000 metas in a server, watch out for ambushes and looting remember to forge alliance with others to build settlements and get it on 12 vs 12 compass for real need. And that's not all. What's Human is committed to providing unique and constantly updated content for players all over the world. We also aim to cater different players' preferences. We've got seen the seasons and all kinds of challenges rolling out soon. These include PvE world bosses and PvE content that encourages you to pillage and plunder. But wait, there's more. We're also adding survival challenges where Meta must compete for extremely scarce resources. The creativity of West Human doesn't stop there. You can unleash your imagination by building island, a truly unique internal land. Feel free to customize up the island to your liking and even change the objective of the season. We create the world and you bring it to life. West Human for PC is coming your way on the 9th of July 2024, so don't forget to add it to your Steam wishlist. On the 10th of June, we'll kick off the final round of open beta of D. Don't miss out the exclusive cosmetics on the first day. Free dollars are now available, and you will want to miss the opportunity. 
Get ready to delve into the unknown. See you on the other side, Metas. Once Human launches on July 10th, but you can play the Steam demo when it drops on June 10th next week. And if you enjoyed that section, watch out for two more ones to watch deep dives later in the show. We've got another world premiere for you now. It's a co-op game where you have to synchronize your movements to succeed. Let's, Let's see, see it. it! Oh, yes. Whoa, oh, nice work. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello. We're off on a magical adventure. Uh, no, I've got a purple X. I have the purple X. I guess if you hit that. Oh yeah, I press. Okay, can you move it across? Okay, and now send it all the way. Hey. Oh. Okay, I'll I'll jump then. Um. <laughs> ah, that opens a panel for me above the door. Okay, what does it say, please? We'll figure it out. And bear in mind, if I get this wrong, it's just everything the other way around, okay? Okay, I'll remember that. Yeah. Nice. I will hit that. Whoa, oh, it moved. Oh, very nice. I wish you'd stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you through there and you can have an explore. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Wait, no, just the explore. In sync <laughs> is coming soon, so stick it on your wish lists. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Brit, but it looks like we're going back to back with world premieres. I think you might be right. We've fished another one out for you guys, and if you ask me, it's whoa, kind of a prize catch. <laughs> wow, <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, yeah, I'm hilarious. <laughs> Peggy Dive back into one of last year's most beloved indie games when Dredge the Iron Rig launches on August 15th. You know, speaking of beloved indies, we are pleased to be launching our very own future game show, Humble Bundle. It features a curated selection of games that have appeared in our shows over the years. So if you like what you see, head to the URL and name your price, and by doing so, you'll be supporting the developers and Humble's chosen charities. Back to the trailers now. In this next section, we're spotlighting seven games to keep on your radar. Frag your friends with the help of roguelike upgrades in this fast-paced, genre-blending online shooter. Diabotical Rogue lets you pick between three specializations to cause carnage on the battlefield in hectic 4v4 matchups. It launched in early access on Steam and Epic Games on June 4th, 2024. So, yep, you can play it right now. What turns a person into a narcotics dealer? A dealer into a cartel boss? Find out in DDS2, an action packed sim where you climb the criminal ladder and fight off the competition. 
Establish contracts, expand your hideout, and move your product in a dynamic open world that supports solo play as well as co-op with up to three players. DDS2 is coming to PC on June 20th, 2024. Keep your eyes on this one, says Local Thunk, developer of breakout hit Bellatro. Star Vaders is a tactical roguelike deck builder where you pilot a mech to defend humanity from an alien scourge. Players can customize their digital decks to take out the intergalactic invaders with eureka moment synergies. Star Vaders is coming soon to PC, and you can check out the demo on Steam after the show. Step into the shoes of a plucky airship pilot in Clockwork Ambrosia, a steampunk metroidvania where the focus is on crafting rule-breaking weapons and armor. Explore gorgeous pixelated worlds to uncover the secrets of a missing civilization, enlisting curious companions and taking down leagues of automatons. Check out the Clockwork Ambrosia demo on Steam today. Turn foes into friends and search for your lost soulmate in Sword of the Necromancer Resurrection, a 3D remake of the 2021 action RPG from Grimorio of Games. A dungeon crawler steeped in mystery, players must level up, collect gear, and recruit fallen enemies to survive in atmospheric environments. Fight past death and twist fate when Sword of the Necromancer Resurrection drops on PC and consoles later this year. Anton Blast is an explosive action platformer inspired by the GBA greats. Race, bounce, and slide your way through surreal, destructible environments, wielding a mighty hammer to bash goons and topple the game's eclectic bosses. Anton Blast is dashing onto Nintendo Switch and PC this November 12th. But there's a dynamite demo available right now on Steam. Find your new home on the galaxy's edge in Farlands, an intergalactic farming sim with a cozy pixel aesthetic. Chop weeds and build a community as you chart the stars for resources to save your local star system from destruction. Farlands is launching in early access on July 24th, but there's a demo out today on Steam, so you can dive in right after the show. Three hits and you're out. Step into the ring in Big Boy Boxing, a slapstick boss rush adventure inspired by the Punch-Out series. Quirky opponents are brought to life by fluid animations as you bob, weave and jab your way through the clobbering ranks, learning attack patterns and upgrading your skills to succeed. Big Boy Boxing is coming soon, so make sure it's on your wish lists. Remember, you can find all of today's games on our dedicated Future Games Show Steam page. Search for Future Games Show on Steam, and you can start digging into the demos and fleshing out your wish lists. Special delivery! Our friends at Billy Goat Entertainment have sent us a new trailer for Parcel Core, the studio's extreme sports courier simulator. Let's take a look. Hello, judacious viewer. At Billy Good Entertainment, we are strong believers in the old adage, art from adversity, which is why we've decided, completely of our own volition and <laughs> certainly not under any form of duress, uh, uh, to uh, commit to delivering our new video game, Parcel Core, this September 3rd. That's right, on September 3rd, you'll have the opportunity to assume your role in the gig economy, ensuring your board of directors can collect their annual dividends. You'll have to placate a colourful cast of business operators, from florists, to medical professionals, to leaven fried dough vendors, to themed beverage sellers, to more themed beverage sellers, enabling you to avoid defaulting on your debts for another month. So, please help us. By wishlisting Parcel Core today. And remember, you'll find us in the streets on September 3rd, 2024. We're pleased to reveal that Parcel Core will be coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on September 3rd, 2024. You can also check out the demo, which just went live on Steam. Our next game is a mind-blowing, interdimensional platformer where... Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to try to explain it. Just check this out.
Screenbound is coming soon, so wishlist it on Steam. And if you think about it, Roger, that's technically two games for the price of one. It's a steal! Yeah. Switching gears now, as we've got a trailer to share from our friends at Netflix. Here's a look at some of the new games coming to the platform later this year. Resisting temptation will be hard for you. Netflix for sending over that trailer. We've got another world premiere for you now. This game lets you exploit a gang of unruly mercenaries for your own selfish gain. Time to dazzle these idiots. Hey, my good townsfolk, have I got a story for you. I have tirelessly explored the wilds and found epic loot. I can kick any monster's ass, even the nastiest nightmares. I rip them apart. Even with facing death, I never give up. Why? Because I'm a hero, and I'm here to protect you. Oh, cut the crap! You're no hero! Obviously, they did all the fighting. You fighting? To gain XP? <laughs> Who needs XP when you're famous? Happy Bastards! Let the fools do your dirty work in Happy Bastards which is coming soon. What's next, Brent? We're checking in with the Relic First Guardian, an apocalyptic Souls-like from Project Cloud Games. Relic First Guardian is coming soon to PlayStation and PC. What have you got for us all the way over there, Roger? Well, it's a nice problem to have, but we simply have too many games to show you. So we're going to throw it out to a series of back-to-back -back trailers and check in with you guys in a little bit. Works for me. Shall we uh, go grab a drink? That would not be disagreeable. <laughs> I hear you make a really good Cosmo Canyon. Oh, I'd love to whip one up for you. Yes, please.
Peggy 12. So the funny thing is, is that his name actually was Lenny. Oh. So he thought everyone was screaming about him, going, Lenny! Okay. Oh, welcome back. Hi, did you enjoy those trailers? Good, because there's more where that came from. Let's get back into it with a new trailer for The Precinct. My advice, keep your head down. Don't piss off the chief, stick to your beat, and maybe, just maybe, you'll get to retirement in one piece like me. You, stop there. Point Donovan, handcuffs dispatch. 10-4, aerial unit inbound. Look up. Central, be advised, Central Command Cough him up, boot. All right, kid. You did good today. I'll see you in the morning. That was The Precinct, which is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August 15th, 2024. If you like to try before you buy, then good news. Every game in this next section has a demo attached that you can play after the show. Days are coming! Any of you do it still breathing? My turn. <laughs> He'll feel that in his ganglion. First up is Motor Doom, a gnarly BMX roguelike that blends Tony Hawk's Pro Skater with Vampire Survivors. Next up is Angeline Era, a non-linear adventure game where you dodge traps and bump slash enemies to save an ancient world. Here's 10 Dead Doves, a psychological horror game where you seek out an urban legend in the Appalachian wilderness. Servonauts is next, a couch co-op party game where you wield wobbly pipes to manage the galaxy's most chaotic gas station. Design the future in Dystopica, a cozy cyberpunk city builder where you can create the metropolis of your dreams. Next in line is Gun Touchables, a co-op roguelite where teams of preppers repel an evolving mutant invasion. And this is Wild Bastards, a rootin' tootin' roguelike shooter where you manage a crew of intergalactic outlaws. And last but not least, this is Metal Suits, a run-and-gun space shooter starring a cyborg veteran out for revenge. Head to the Future Games Show Steam page to find all those demos and everything else featured in today's show. Brett, I've got someone I'd like you to meet. Goes by the name of Eugene McQuacklin. They're a private eye, following the breadcrumbs of a foul salami scheme. A duck detective? Please, say no more. The truth. The truth is an ugly mistress. But I ain't no ugly duckling. Hi, I'm Johnny. 
And I'm Monica, and we're from Happy Broccoli Games. Right now, we're working on Duck Detective The Secret Salami, where solving crime is no walk in the pond. You are a down on his luck detective who also happens to be a duck. I was a freshly divorced duck, not able to pay next month's rent. Use your powers of deduction to inspect evidence, fill in the blanks, and bust the case wide open. In a narrative mystery adventure, that's not quite as it seems. Everyone has a motive. Or a secret. Duck Detective is a 2-3 to three hour long mystery game that's inspired by games like Return of the Obradin and Case of the Golden Idol. The game is fully voiced and of course it has a dedicated quest button. Today we're really excited to share with you the Duck Detective is coming to mobile later this year. Now you can already play Duck Detective on Steam and Switch. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Hannah! I'm a different duck now. I haven't had a, a slice of bread in weeks. Duck Detective, the secret salami. Duck Detective, the secret salami is out now on PC and Nintendo Switch with mobile ports coming later this year. This next trailer is for the RPG fans out there. Sacrifier is inspired by the 90s classics and features a soundtrack composed by Motui Sakuraba. Few are worthy of the title you are about to receive. The bishops are more than soldiers. They are guardians. I took the Malkora. Enough! Ezekiel, the dome is under attack. You must retrieve the Malkora. Statues coming to life. Am I dreaming? Damn it! Where did the thief go? Give me the Malkora! No! Sacrifier is coming soon, but the playtest just went live on Steam. If you want to try it out before launch, I feel like it's time we add another game to our yearbook, right, Britt? I think that's a good idea. You know what? More than a decade later, we're finally getting a sequel to Warhammer 40K Space Marine. Space Marine 2 is landing in September, and here's everything you need to know about it. Nothing will survive our wrath. Chain swords at the ready because Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 is staining the pages of our Wants to Watch yearbook with gallons of Xeno's blood. Space Marine 2 is the hotly anticipated follow up to Relic Entertainment's 2011 third person shooter. Helmed by Saber Interactive this time around, Space Marine 2 promises even more guts and glory for up to three players across its galactic co-op campaign. You are dropped into the clanking, capable boots of Lieutenant Demetrian Titus, voiced by Clive Standen of Vikings fame. Delta Wing, report. The spores collapsed the bridge. There's no way through. Get into assault position by the bridge. Let us show them some of Ultima's hospitality. <laughs> Come forth and be slaughtered! Titus is a true space marine, the Emperor's personal angel of death, a stoic ultramarine with a penchant for defending the Imperium. Though at the start of the game, he's dealing with the aftermath of a suspicious demotion and an even more pressing existential matter, 
the Terranid Scourge threatening mankind. Space Marine 2 will transport players to the front lines of the fourth Tyrannic War, with hundreds of creatures coating the screen as you trudge through the biomes of perilous planets. From Terranid warriors, hormigaunts, gargoyles, and quite likely much larger foes, you'll be overwhelmed in short order if you and your team don't keep your wits about you. The grisly combat blends over-the-shoulder shooting with a deep melee brawling system, allowing you to parry, dodge, pull off brutal combos, and execute your enemies to top up armor supplies. You will pay, you rotten cowards! It's a metal maelstrom of chaotic conflict, and we're excited to see what Titus and the gang will face up against when the game launches later this year. Space Marine 2 is coming to PlayStation, Xbox and PC on the 9th of September, so there's still plenty of time to scrub up on the wealth of 40k lore before you suit up and ship out on this gnarly Warhammer adventure. Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2 is coming to PC, PlayStation and Xbox on September 9th, 2024. We still have one more game to add to our yearbook, so keep an eye out. Before we get to that, though, how about another world premiere? Yeah. Okay. But, you know, I have to admit this is a bit of a wild one. I think it needs a Wrangler's touch. Just give me a second. Whoa, 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 easy now. You're all right. You're, you're all right. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, you mean. Ah. Uh, oh, just one second. Peggy 12. Go toe to toe with Capybara Thanos in Multiverse of Nonsense, a brand new DLC pack for Goat Simulator 3. It's coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on the 19th of June, and you can wishlist it now on Steam. By the way, if you're enjoying the show, you can let us know. Head to the link on screen now and fill in the survey to be in with the chance of winning some great prizes courtesy of MSI. All right, time for something completely different. This year, the Future Games Show is launching a new initiative to help increase the visibility of up-and-coming indie games. We've created a video submission form so that game makers from around the world can pitch their projects to the show in a snappy 45-second format. A link to the form should be on the screen now. Think of it as an indie elevator pitch. In the coming weeks and months, we'll share the submissions on social media and highlight them during our upcoming live shows. To give you an idea of what we're looking for, the FGS team handpicked some of the most anticipated indie games and asked the developers to create their own elevator pitches. And here's what they come up with. Welcome to the world of Schim. 
My name is Ewout, I'm one of the developers of the game, and I'm responsible for the programming and art. In Schim, you jump from shadow to shadow. You play as a little shadow creature that got separated from the person. And now it's up to you to find your way back. Along the way, you will also help other Schim that have lost their objects. We will release a PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and Steam. Get ready to hop around on July 18th. Hi, I'm Kurt Olsen, the creator of the upcoming stealth comedy game, World's Worst Handyman. I'm also a father of three with a full-time day job. Five years ago, I taught myself to code and make games in my spare time. Later, I founded Baby Lumberjack Studio. World's Worst Handyman combines my love for stealth horror games with the charm of Nintendo games. It's a thrilling, stealth comedy game for all ages. You play as Doug, an unskilled handyman trying to save his local animal shelter from bankruptcy. Find tools, complete tasks, avoid angry residents, and earn enough money to save the shelter. World's Worst Handyman releases this September. Play the free demo and wishlist the game on Steam to support our small team. Thanks. Judoro is a stop-motion action-adventure game set in a mystical historic Scotland. We are a dedicated and passionate two-man team making a truly independent game without compromise. In Judoro, you will explore a world full of eccentric stories and handcrafted NPCs. You will overcome challenges with Judoro's combat and possession mechanics. Our favourite part is perhaps the varied and sometimes grotesque bosses the game is replete with. Judero is coming out this autumn on Steam. Please wishlist and help spread the word. Thank you. Hey, Future Game Show. Those guys over there are Heavy Lunch Studio, and they've known each other for, like, I don't know, a hundred years? And in an act of hubris and self-delusion, they decided to make their first video game, Hermit and Pig. It's an adventure RPG about a reclusive old man and his truffle-hunting pig. These two unlikely heroes get drawn into a dangerous conspiracy involving evil corporations, unusually violent animals, hungry townspeople, cultist weirdos, and a giant mythical mushroom. You'll have to dig deep and ask yourself important questions like, can I master the self-defense techniques necessary to survive? Can I overcome my social anxiety to become a hero? And should I really eat every mushroom I find? You can find these answers and more in Hermit and Pig. The demo is available on Steam now. Thank you to the talented developers who helped us launch this brand new section. Make sure you wish list Judero, Hermit and Pig, World's Worst Handyman, and Skim on Steam. And if you're a game maker who wants to participate in the indie elevator pitch, you can find out more using the link on screen right now. Show us what you got. Back to our regular programming now, which in this case means another world premiere. <laughs> This one's a stealth strategy adventure game set in an oppressive cityscape. I know that you're worried about the war on the continent. But you are my people, and you will come to no harm. There's no one in any trouble. We just want to talk to him. You told me you wanted out. You and your brother. You said you're done with this. It's too dangerous, not what you wanted. Find her. She's here somewhere. I respected your decision because I thought you respected me and my business and everything I've done for you. This isn't about me. Oh, it's always about you, Hannah. And now you've brought the police here. They're looking for Herman. idea what he's done and I don't care, I've just got to find him before they do. It's only a matter of time. You've set things in motion you don't understand, Hannah.
Eric's home, The Stolen Dream, is coming soon to PC and consoles. What's next, Roger? Well, here's a closer look at Run From Mummies, a cooperative dungeon crawler where you play a group of plucky tourists dodging traps to photograph ancient relics. So, you heard about the tour? For the tour? Well, the sights are unforgettable and rife with dangers. The perfect place to bring your friends. So take plenty of pictures. Souvenirs! There's a whole world out there to discover! Blast, is this recording still up? Run From Mummies is coming to PC and PS5 in fall 2024. And you can play the demo on Steam after the show. Up next, we've got a Souls-like side-scroller set in a dark fantasy world. Here's the latest update on Mandragora. Take me forward, no matter the danger. <laughs> Hi everyone, Alex here, Community Marketing Manager at Primal Game Studio. We're currently working on our most ambitious game to date, Mandragora. Mandragora is a 2.5D action RPG side-scroller with deep Metroidvania and Souls-like elements. We're currently working on fine-tuning the many features that will be available in the game, including epic boss fights and a branching talent tree. Inquisitor. Got supplies for your journey upstairs. You deserve better for what you did to that witch, but it's all we've got to spare. In the full release, expect to find yourself immersed in a narrative crafted by industry legend Brian Mitsoda, known for his work on Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, meet many characters all voiced by professional voice actors including Aisha Salim, known for her work on Overwatch, and find yourself whisked away into the world of Mandragora with a dark fantasy soundtrack composed by Christos Antonio, best known for his work as a member of Sectic Flesh. <laughs> 2024 is going to be a big year for us, as we work towards releasing later this year alongside our new publishing partner, Knight's Peak. We look forward to bringing Mandragora to your PC and consoles and really hope you enjoy playing. Your passenger is lost. So is this world. Mandragora from new publisher, Knight's Peak, is coming to PC and consoles later this year. We're taking a look at Dustborn now. Red Thread Games Road Trip Adventure. Here's the latest trailer. They've got their lights on. They're after us! Oh shit! Oh shit! Sigh. Oh shit! Calm down. Take a deep breath, Sai. Let's pull over. We can handle the police. Pax, maybe put the cargo in a safe place? Handle the police how, exactly? You know what cops do to people like us. Sai, please listen to me. Says the woman who never listens to anyone! We're so dead! Stop the car! 
We'll handle the cops. Hold down your window. Huh? What? The window, the window. Oh, wait. Hi. Hello. Hi, officer. What's going on? <laughs> I'll need you people to step out of the vehicle. You're a loser. How badly did you screw up to get here? Highway patrol in the middle of nowhere? I was doing just fine, Deviant, until you tried to mess with my head. I said, exit the vehicle! Hey, uh, uh officer, walk Not on the road into the- Road. Jesus, fuck! Ay, Dios mio. Drive. Drive, Sai, now! That was fucked up. I wonder if he had time to call it in before. Bam. Dustborn is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August 20th, 2024. All right, wish lists at the ready, folks, because we've got a sweep of exciting trailers coming up next. <laughs> Majestic Albertown, last known bastion of civilization and progress. Become one of our esteemed engineers, and let the illumination of our great leader, William Kane, guide you. Today is your day. Join our annual lottery and plug into your true potential. Prove your worth and ascent to greatness inside Albatross Technologies. And then she says, I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick. Ah, damn! That's so true. Oh, you're back! Let's keep up the pace and jump straight into our next trailer. Did you notice that rope tied around his neck? No? Never mind. Numata is a suburban survival horror game from Deadbolt Interactive. It's coming to PC and consoles in 2024. Our next game takes influence from Hotline Miami and fuses Japanese mythology with contemporary hip hop. Feast your eyes on Sonokuni. Ugly. 
a top-down action game from the Don Yasa crew, a hip-hop group from Japan that decided to make their own indie game. It's coming soon to PC, but for now, you can wishlist it on Steam. Eternal Strands is up next, an action game where you use magic, weapons, and climbing skills to take down enormous monsters. Here's the latest trailer. <laughs> So after all the legends, this is it. The Enclave. Bryn, you need to get out of there, now. I was made for this, Aurea. Weavers have known about this safe zone in the Vale's shadow for decades. No one's been this close in years. My hope is that we're going to find artifacts from the Enclave itself deeper into the shadow. You can count on me. holds mysteries beyond our wildest dreams. It's time to uncover them. Eternal Strands is coming soon, but if you're eager for more, we'll be airing an interview with the developers during our official post-show, the Future Games Show Expansion Pack. The expansion pack airs directly after the summer showcase, so stick around for a closer look at today's games and some extra world premieres. Mm. For this next section, the FGS team handpicked some of the most exciting Unreal Engine 5 projects to provide an eye-popping glimpse into the future. Let's check it out!
thank you to the developers who participated in our Unreal Engine 5 showcase. Be sure to follow them on social media to keep up with these projects as they evolve. Now, as we all know, the only good bug is a dead bug. And there's been plenty of virtual pest control going on this year. But how about some more? Mm. Up next, we have a juicy update on Starship Troopers Extermination. Hi, I'm Peter Maurice. I'm the project lead for Starship Troopers Extermination. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the exciting new update coming to the game called Carnage on Planet X-11. The Carnage system itself is basically persistent bug bodies everywhere in the world. They don't go away. We're bringing the movie into the video game. Being able to climb on top of the bug piles to get the best vantage point over the bugs. It's a system that we've developed in-house from the ground up. It's really all about bringing the carnage and the war to the bugs and being able to show the persistent damage throughout the world. I'm so excited to share it with the community. Planet X-11 is deep within the Tybanus system in the arachnid quarantine zone. We're setting this planet within the rings of a gas giant. It's draped in mystery. We are going there to defend the T-Fang array. It's the most important listing post in the Federation and it's crucial to Federation operations that we secure it. Planet X-11's our first attempt in Starship Troopers to combine indoor combat environments with outdoor combat environments. Planet X-11 offers us an opportunity to see what battling the bugs inside Federation buildings is really like. We point something we've really been excited to finally bring into the game. We've added armor to our bugs. And the weak point on the bug is where you can easily take down a bug if you know how to aim with the right weapon. Weak points add in some more nuance and more depth into gunplay, and that's what weak points are allowing us to do. Working on Starship Troopers Extermination has been a dream come true for me. It's something that I really enjoy coming and working on every day. Being able to bring those movie moments into a video game for the rest of the world to experience has been so much fun. Grab your friends and suit up in Starship Troopers Extermination, which is available now on Steam. We're following up on that bombshell with our third and final yearbook edition. Let's throw it over to Supermassive Games and Behavior Interactive for a deep dive into the casting of Frank Stone. From the minds behind Dead by Daylight and the Dark Pictures Anthology, please welcome the casting of Frank Stone into our future game show Wants to Watch Yearbook. This single-player horror adventure lets you define your own story in the expanded world of the iconic action horror game Dead by Daylight. Players follow an ensemble of intrepid young filmmakers as they set out to film their own home movie at a murder site steeped in tragic history. Prepare to be posed with fate-changing choices, challenging puzzles, and death-defying QTEs as you guide the cast through eerie environments and shocking twists, dodging grisly deaths along the way. The casting of Frank Stone is coming to PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC in 2024. And to give you a closer look at this exciting collaboration, let's throw it over to our friends at Behaviour Interactive and Supermassive Games. For the longest time on Dead by Daylight, we knew that we wanted to offer different types of experience to our players. And a single player narrative experience is definitely one of them. And our fans have been requesting it quite a lot. So obviously, super massive games with their pedigree, their portfolio of game is the perfect partner to deliver that fantastic horror experience. The casting of Frank Stone is a classic, super massive cinematic adventure game. Wait, I'm coming with you. It's an unashamed horror experience. It's a story that we've been thinking around for quite a long time, and it really fits the omniverse idea that underpins a lot of the Dead by Daylight lore. And so it kind of slipped together as a very natural fit. It all starts with our 1963 storyline, which is investigation of a missing child, which leads us into a very dark, quite grisly serial killer horror story. 
But as the story unfolds from there, things go in different directions and we bring in a lot of different subgenres of horror. I think that belongs to the boy you're looking for. The main influences were always to try to be domestic, something you could actually believe happens, something that you can understand, relate to. At the same time, part of it you don't understand and it creates a, a, a mystery. We're always going back to the classic slasher or movies and characters that we learn to love and hate uh, at the same time. What? One thing we really latched onto quickly was the idea of how a piece of creative art could become a vehicle for horror. And in our case, that's a Super 8 film that's being made by a group of teenage characters on the site of an infamous serial killer's crimes. Oh, and that felt like a vehicle where we could bring in other influences of horror that we really like. Either of you heard of Murder Mail? Right at the start of the project, talking with Supermassive, we connected because we're passionate about horror and we basically get our inspiration from the same sources. So it was great talking with them and seeing that a lot of the sources for inspiration they're using have been the same that we've been looking into at the genesis of Dead by Daylight. So in that sense, our fans and also new players that will experience this can see that both titles are from the same lineage. So for fans of supermassive games that still haven't stepped into the fog of Dead by Daylight, this is gonna be a great first step. Come on, people, we got a movie to make. The casting of Frank Stone is coming later this year. And with that, We've wrapped up our Ones to Watch yearbook for the Summer Showcase. Go team! It also means we're closing in on the end of the show. But that doesn't mean that we're done with the world premieres. Here's one more! Ooh. I love treasures. It's nice to have someone else do the dirty work for you. And only that annoying mongoose always ruins everything. Nicoderico. You and your friends can't stop me. Nico De Rico is an all-new mascot platformer from developer Via Games as part of the new publishing label Night's Peak, which was announced today. It's coming soon to PC and consoles. You might have seen our next game before. It blew up on social media for its hyper-realistic graphics. Here's the latest trailer for Body Cam.
body cam is out now on Steam, so go check it out. All right, it's time for our final trailer. And with keeping with tradition, this one is a super special world premiere. But before we wrap things up, I have one small question for you, Roger Clark. Aerith or Tifa? Um, that's, uh, uh, that's interesting. I, I feel like that's kind of a loaded question in this scenario. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just, it's just a hypothetical, you know? There's no, there's no wrong answers. <laughs> okay, well, you see, that's really interesting, you know? It's, it's uh, taking you a long time to answer this. Well, if I had to choose between Tifa and Aerith, I think I would have to go with... That was a quick taste of what's to come from Woodrunner Games, an indie studio featuring developers who worked on Cuphead and Rick and Morty. The game's full reveal is expected later this year. Which would coincide with the next Future Games show. Interesting. <laughs> Brett, I hate to say goodbye, but that's a wrap on the Summer Showcase. Oh, man. You know what, though? I'm just glad we got to do this together. We were outlaws to the end. Damn right we were. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the stage with me. And cheers to all of you guys for tuning in. But don't leave just yet, cowboy, because we've got the post-show coming up right after this with more trailers and deep dives on the way. There'll also be tons of follow-up content on GamesRadar.com and our FGS social channels on YouTube and TikTok. Finally, before we take off, we'd also like to thank the hardworking developers, trailer makers, PR representatives, and everyone across the games industry who worked with us to make this summer showcase a reality, even in such turbulent times. We couldn't have done it without you. Don't forget to head to the Future Games Show Steam page to find all of today's games and check out some of the demos we discussed. I know we mention it a lot, but your wish lists go a long way. So if you like a project, go ahead and show it. I'm Roger Clark. And I'm Britt Barron. And, and this, this has been, been the Future, Future Games Show Summer Showcase 2024. <laughs> Great job.